hello and welcome to this microsoft azure databricks in the previous video we leveraged the azure databricks to perform data processing by reading javascript data into a spark data frame and of course we apply some filters such as the regional equals to east regional equals to east and west and of course regional equals to east west with total sales greater than or equal to 200. so in this follow-up video, we're going to see how to switch to Spark SQL in the notebook to create temporary view and filter the data in the SQL language. So let's get right into it. I'm going to scroll down and in the next slide at the bottom, I want to go ahead and call the data frame variable, so df dot, and I want to go ahead and use the create or replace term view. So let's go ahead and do that. Create or replace term view and then I can open and close the bracket so inside double quote I can go ahead and provide the name for the temporary view I'm going to call this on df underscore view and then go ahead and press enter so we can just go ahead and create another variable called result equals and then we can use the spark dot sql and then within the spark dot sql we can go ahead and perform our select statement so inside double quote I'm going to go ahead and perform the select star from and we're going to actually pick from the df df underscore view and then we can go ahead and display using the display method i'm going to call the display method and i want to display this result variable so result all right i can go on and press control enter when i press control enter there we go so we are able to query the data in the spark sql the traditional sql language which is so amazing i'm going to go and copy this and control c and i'm going to scroll and create a new cell at the bottom so go ahead and control v now we're going to go ahead and filter to see all the transactions for the east and the west region so i'm going to come here so after the select start from df and then i can provide the where clause so i'm going to say hey where and then i'm going to provide the name of the column where the region column is equal to in this case we want to actually filter the east region first it doesn't matter and then i can outside that i can use the all logical operation and then i can call the region column again i can check whether this is equal to inside single quote the west region so west and then let's go ahead and print this and say control enter beautiful so this works fine so we have the west and the east region and then we'll go ahead and filter to see the sales that is greater than or equal to 200. now that's what i'm going to i'm going to come here after this way, I'm going to open the bracket and then I'm going to surround after this west here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close the bracket and then I can specify the and logical operation. So I'm going to say hand sales column, whether it is greater than or equal to 200. So this is going to be an integer value, not inside single code. So I'm going to go ahead and press control enter. When I press control enter, let's see the result at the bottom. Amazing. It worked pretty fine. So you can see we have the region that equal to the east and the west and the sales that is greater than or equal to 200. what about if i actually just make it to be maybe uh, greater than or equal to 250 i can press control enter okay okay 250 control enter there we go so this gave us three rows that satisfy the three condition so this is basically how we can switch to the spark sql in the azure databricks notebook again i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now